All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Uh, so I came across a story on Google, actually. I was just scrolling, looking for something. And I came across this TikTok video. Uh, some girl named Bridget Olick from North Dakota. Uh, before we get into that, uh, if you want to donate, Cash App is in the description. You know what it is. You can donate anything if you want. If you don't want, also, like, share, subscribe to the page. It always helps me out. Thank you very much. And thank you to all my followers and all my people who like my videos. Thank you. So, Bridget. Okay, so Bridget, it was an interesting story to me because Bridget said, I watched a TikTok video and Bridget said, uh, that you know those you know those uh white girls those crazy white girls with racist parents or something to that effect uh a bitch a bitch just got kicked out of her house because she support black lives matter now all right so one i want to i want to say a couple of things before i even get into that because uh that's a whole nother can of worms i guess but for Okay, so let's let me let me just say this. All right, here's the thing. I don't think that parents should. Well, first of all, before we get into that, the girl. Let's not let's not forget that she's 23 years old. So let's just keep that in the air, before we go any further. Let's just keep that in the air. She's 23. So when she says she got kicked out, actually, it could be she moved out, or her parents had an argument. But that's for the end. So. Um, so Bridget, here's the thing about parenting, right? And this could happen. And I understand us as parents, we are old school. We tend to not know about what's going on in the times. We tend to just be, uh, stuck in our ways. We tend to not really listen to our children when it comes to social issues that's going on with them. Like, for example, children or kids would say they're stressed and they're, they are going through a lot. And us as parents these days don't really know why, because a lot of these kids got everything they want. And but I really believe that that's a social acceptance thing. And I think that a lot of these kids, they're not socially accepted, so they're stressed. So they do whatever they can to fit in to whatever's going on around them. Kind of like how we was with peer pressure and, you know, people smoked cigarettes or whatever. And like, oh, smoke the cigarette. You ain't in. You ain't with the cool kids. And it's like, that's kind of how it is now, but on a grander scale, because it could be somebody from California who who you admire and they can ignore you and you upset about it. So again, this is what kids go through and a lot of parents don't understand that. Now on the other side of it, kids don't understand that, <clears throat> excuse me, us as parents, we, um, excuse me, <clears throat> we kind of like, uh, Again, we're setting our ways and you guys don't understand that we went through a lot of the hardships to protect y'all from going through these things. And a lot of these things that y'all socially uh, not accepted or feel some type of way about it. We don't understand that point or that part because we're not we already passed that threshold of of, uh, of our lives. So the social uh, thing of our lives. So get into the think about her supporting Black Lives Matter. Now, I'm all for people supporting all Black Lives, all Black Lives, Black Lives Matter. I'm not for the Black Lives Matter organization. And I said that plenty in plenty of videos. You can go watch that. The reason why. A, a lot of these kids, they're very impressionable and they don't understand why they support things. Now, us as parents, we got to teach our kids now. I don't know how the argument went. I don't know if the dad said, uh, I hate those black people, 
Why are you supporting black people? I don't know. But I gotta, I have to break down what she said versus what it is. Because it's very important to understand the message, where the message is coming from. So first of all, she referred, she referred to herself as a bitch. She said, you know the white girls, the, the, the crazy white girls? A bitch got kicked out. That's one. Uh, two, she said in her, in her TikTok video is uh, pinky rings are gay. That's two. So if I had to, uh, and also she was listening. Well, that doesn't even matter, but she was listening to Cash Dolls, right? But that's just neither here nor there. That's just another point. So um, I think that if I had to judge this off of whether her parents were racist or whether she was just trying to be something or she was, I would say she was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I would say if she was uh, uh, um, going against her parents, I'm probably going to have to side with the parents on this one and because just her whole handle handling of it seems a little sketchy. And it seems a little, uh, I'm trying to look at me. I'm, I'm trying to grab attention because her dad could be racist. I don't know, but I do know what she said. And if her, da her dad might not be racist, her dad may just be a person who just supports Donald Trump and don't really understand the black lives matter movement. Doesn't make him racist. That's just that. But if we're going off of what she said, then I can understand why her parents kicked out. She seemed like she's a rebel. She seemed like she goes against any and everything that her dad says. And it kind of seemed like, to me, if you're referring to yourself as a bitch or that bitch, then I already know what type of uh, mentality you have already. I already know. Because the mentality you have is you don't even think highly of yourself. So if if you're telling, you're probably screaming and telling your dad this and that. But there's more backstory to the story because the, the female, she uh she's actually was supposed to do something for a family or something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking bug in here. She was supposed to do something for a family or something like that. But uh, she ended up not doing it, and her dad was upset about it. Okay, so, so here's the thing, right? And here's my issue with people like this. First, parents, you should support your kids. And you should understand why they're going through what they're going through, because we don't know what they're going through. We have to sit them down and ask them. We don't know if she did that. Some kids are rebels. Some kids just go against what their parents said. I'm just going to say if she was my daughter. I would have sat her down and said, hey, listen, why are you supporting this? And not saying why are you supporting this like it's bad. Why are you supporting this? I want to understand because maybe I don't understand. And then I would have said something like, well, here's why. Uh, OK, so why you don't why don't you why don't you like Donald Trump? And if she said, oh, because this because he's a racist. then I would say, OK, well, without us arguing, let's go through this point out the facts. You know, and a lot of times kids, they're so invested in their opinion that they don't want to hear the facts. But sometimes you got to walk them through it. And if you're a good parent and not to say that everybody's not a good parent, but some parents don't know how to talk to their kids because their kids don't want to hear nothing. Their kids already have their mind made up. And that's another thing that I think a lot of us don't understand, that kids have their mind made up already. So even if you do show them facts, it, they'll find a reason why they'll find a reason why it's like that or not like that. So let's just get that out the way. So I'll just sat her down and I told her like this and this and this and this, you know, and I would have brought her to the fact that uh, the Black Lives Matter organization is really not for black uh, all black lives. Therefore, a certain, certain theme or certain narrative that they're pushing. And sometimes we support these things. We don't know what we're supporting. We just support it. So I would have kind of broke it down to it. Now, if I didn't understand Black Lives, I would have said, that's great that you are a part of something, but at least at least try to learn a little bit more about it. 
And I would have kind of walked on eggshells when I said that because a lot of times when you say stuff and if you are supporting another group, your kids look at you like a racist or they look at you like you're not supporting them. And kids are very sensitive because they want you to be on their side, even if they're wrong. And I personally don't believe that parents should do that. <clears throat> I don't think parents should be on kids' sides, even though they're wrong. A parent should correct the kid. I don't think a, a parent should tell a kid that there's something that they're not. They should show them the facts. And then if, the, and if as they get older, if they feel like they want to decide to still do that, then I think the parent should uh, uh, kind of let them do their own thing. But as a parent, your, your responsibility is to let your kids know the truth, not something because of how, or give them false sense of hope or facts that are opinionated, I should say. So, uh, as far as uh, this the girl Bridget goes, um, I just want to say something to her. I think that you should look more into things before you actually go and run out and support something. That's one. Two, um, don't be a part of something because it's a, a trend. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm only saying all this because of her referring herself to as a bitch. So if she was more aware of or a little more woke on this um, topic, then I would probably say something different. But I'm only saying this because this is what she referred herself to. So obviously she don't really know in my head. She don't really know what's really going on. She just going off of what, you know, what's going on right now. She's only going off surface level of what she's seen with the George Floyd incident, what she's seen with, you know, just what people speaking at these rallies or whatever. Now, another thing I want to say to her is don't become a part of a group because they believe in something, because what they're going to do is indoctrinate you. And now you're a part of something and you don't understand why you're fighting. That's the biggest thing with young people. They don't understand why they're fighting. They're just fighting. And I think that her, her she needs to understand that, that you should learn about these organizations you, you jump with. And that's not even just for Black Lives Matter. It could be for another organization, a sub organization that's under Black Lives Matter or under Antifa or under uh, uh, whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You should learn about these organizations because some of these people are just radicals and they they're just radi radical people who just want to be seen and you're following it, not knowing why. And then when you ask them why, they can't even give you a reason. So I definitely think that uh, in this situation is very is very typical of young people to do these type of things. And especially when it comes to their parents. Now, again, I don't know if her father's a racist, but I do know that maybe their lifestyle is a little bit different. And if she's referring to herself as a bitch, then I can understand why her dad and her don't get along. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Torture Talk, you know what it is. Be back again with another one.